What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a cave, suffered a lot, beat a lot of trainers, and, well, let's see. Well, as I remember... Oh, wow. I really do hate this. Good gravy. Okay, so we are in Moragatown. Moragatown, whatever you like to call it. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. But here we are in Moraga Town. We went into the Silk Tunnel, and now we are actually going to be exploring this place just a little bit. And, well, there is an exit right here where you can actually find some uh, new grass right there. But what we're going to do is we're actually just going to be exploring the whole location just a little bit. Now, there's these guys right here walking around, and, well, this guy is like, TM31 lets you mimic Pokemon, which is cool. What does this guy do? My daughter may appear cute, but deep inside, she is a warrior. Okay, so... I'm only thinking that his daughter is the gym leader. Now, this is what I don't get. Why in the heck are you putting the gym so far away, or the, the Pokemon Center so far away from the city? That's what I want to know. So, we're going to be taking a look at these places right here, and, well, fun fun. This guy right here. And my son just can't stop paying attention to his new pet. At least it's better than the video games and TV. Well, that is true. I mean... It's a little more healthier. It really is, okay? Just a little more healthier. Can't say something for me right here, but here is a Pokemon. Let's see what they actually... Let's see what we can actually buy right here. So, as you can see, they just upped it up with the Pokeballs or the Great Balls right here. So let's go ahead and grab five of those little bastards. And grab a few, uh, well, a few potions. And, well, we can't get... Well, yeah, we can't get that many, so... Let's see. Maybe we can sell something. Two Pokeballs. And, you know what, screw it. Let's just leave it at that right there. Okay, so, let's see. Help. I do not know where my mommy is. Okay, well, I think if we, you know, we helped you, I don't know. Now, here is an eating contest right here. This looks very familiar to Sell It On City, so now if you talk to this guy, he's like, Hey, kid, like the slots? Well, there is a casino in Osari City. I, I'm stinking rich, so I can't, I can just buy coins. So here... And look at that, we got ourselves a coin case, which is good. Very, very good. Okay, so we got that. We can go back to Osari and grab some more uh, items right there. And then, let's see, what do we got right here? Trainer tips, keep an eye out where you're going and if needed, backtrack to cities you've been to already. That, that, that sounds true. And well, High School Academy, let's go ahead and take a look what this High School Academy is all about. And this guy right here is like, I'm a material girl. Yeah. Huh. I'm a material girl. And yes, talking about a lot of the stuff that you can actually... Yeah, yeah it's basics of Pokemon right here. And detention for uh, breathing. Okay, never mind. So they, really do, they didn't really add a lot of material to this whole place right here. And then, well, there's a shortcut in Eagle Oak City nearby. And I want to know how you can get in there. Now, let's see what you can actually find in here. This. Hi, do you have a Nido Queen? You want to trade it for a Nido King? I do not have that, but I think this actually goes to the next town right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I think you go there, it might take you. Wow, damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, never mind. It just takes you to the next town. You press up, you press down. It doesn't really know. It, like, it just goes. It backtracks all the way, guys. So. Let's go right up here and see what we can actually find. I think we can go back back door or something like that. You can't go in this. Let's see, what is this? It's a Psyduck. Now, what is this? Huh. It's a cave. I kind of feel like we've been here before, and look at that, we found ourselves a Psyduck. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So, let's see. Go straight to the map. We are back in Silk Tunnel, so this is another entranceway to Silk Tunnel. Uh, or no, we've already been here, we got out of here. So, let's go straight up here and uh, take care of other stuff. Now, I think this is the mom being, and you know, like, it can be scary sometimes. That is not the mom, okay. Okay, what the hell are we supposed to be doing here? Hmm. Nothing, okay. So, I think there's really not a lot of stuff that you can actually find right here. So, let's go straight up here. And, did we go into this house? No, yeah, this is the pet one. And, well, let's go right here. I thought I got it, I thought I got that. So let's go ahead and go with a cut attack. 
And let's see what this is all about right here. Now, if you go into this house, yes, this is the lady that will actually give you the HM for fly. So there we go. Grabbed ourselves the HM for fly, and she's like, HM fly, we'll fly, fly you back into any town. So that right there has helped us. Let's go right ahead and see if we can actually give that to somebody right here. Let's see, fly, and actually we do not have a Pokemon for that. So it looks like for me that we're gonna actually go, gonna have to go to the Pokemon Center and grab a Pokemon that knows how to fly. So let's go ahead and cut that out. And well, let's see. The gym is right next to the Pokemon Center, so that's always a good, or that's always a plus. So let's go right here and go straight to the PC. Deposit. Oh wow, it's full. Huh. All right, so let's go ahead and switch this out. Let's go straight to box number two. Deposit. Shroom me for just a little bit, and then change the box back right here. And well, let's see. We're gonna go back to number one and withdraw a Pokemon of level. So we actually caught ourselves a level 20 Onyx off screen, and then a Grimer, and then well, let's see, Tornado. Let's see what we got here. Tornado obviously is the Spearow that we've actually had quite uh, quite a few times. Kind of want to use him. And, well, let's see, there's Smasher, Viper, believe it or not, Viper is, <laughs> Viper is the Ekans right here, which, look, it's nothing like a Viper, that's hilarious, and, well, let's see, let's go right ahead, and, well, let's see, we got Thrasher, Hurricane, which, you know what, let's go ahead and grab Hurricane, because it is at level 22, that will actually boost us up just a tad bit, so let's go ahead and do that. Get a fly and give that to Hurricane. And well, let's see what we got. Hurricane has Gust and Whirlwind, so let's go ahead and switch out the Whirlwind for Fly. And well, let's go right ahead and let's see. Do I need to kill my Pokemon? No, I oh, actually kind of I do. So I guess we're gonna be going into the gym right here, guys. I'm only guessing. One can only guess right here. So there it is. Getting our Pokemon healed, and well, let's go straight down and take care of business. The business right now, here into these Pokemon Gym. Alrighty, so this is the Moraga Town Gym. The leader is Lois. And to my luck, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we need the cut technique. One Pokemon is going to be the other man out. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to go off screen, guys. Get, I'm going to get, you know. Or actually, hold on. Hold on just a sec. Do we have HM01 with me? There it is. Let's see. Sunny can learn it. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I'd rather not do it. I'd rather not risk it. Yeah, I'd rather not risk it. So, I'm going to go off screen, grab myself Shroomy, and then uh, we'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back here again. And the odd man out to this whole journey right here, for right now, is Ultra Psycho. Now, I kind of have a feeling that this is going to be a grass-type gym. So, what's going to happen is that I do have good Pokemon for this situation. I got Kathy, which is a nice type Pokemon. I got Master, which is a fire type Pokemon, and then Hurricane too as a flying type. And then you know Shroomy is a bug type. So it all works out. So let's go right ahead and put Bruce Lee first, just in case, you know, I need to like uh confirm this and all that stuff. So here we go, going straight for the cut technique and well there it is, cutting away and we're gonna be battling a few trainers here and there. And she's like, a boy! Get out of here! Damn, strong words coming from a strong woman. And here we have Lass, and she will want to battle, and well, she is coming out with a Tangela. And well, let's go ahead and just uh let's just let's take our business with Bruce Lee right here. And a takedown attack does its trick right here, and here comes that poison powder, does not affect it, but we missed that. God dang it. And well, let's go ahead and Put in an awakening, right? Do we have an awakening? Good gravy! Alright, we woke up. Everything's good. Life is perfect again. And that Vine Whip is hurting us right now. So let's go take down attack. 
for the win. Say goodbye to Tangela. Oh, yes. And look at that. Bruce Lee grows to level 27 right there. And, well, she has a group of Tangela. Let's go straight for Master. The Master right here. Alrighty, Master. Let's do this. Butthead flamethrower attack for the win. Ooh. It is super effective. That Vine Whip will not affect me. Here we go. Flamethrower for the win. Butthead wins. Now, I would name this Pokemon Butthead, but it won't allow me, which is good because I don't like naming my Pokemon like that. Andy, well, he's learning Fire Punch. Oh, shoot. Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, learn that Fire Punch. Let's take away Leer. Alrighty. Oh, yes. The Arsenal is being loaded right now. So this is going to be the Master Show right here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So let's go with Hurricane. And let's go ahead and battle everybody we see in here. I was getting bored. Well, well, I'm kind of getting bored myself. So, let's go right ahead, taking on the beauty, and well, she's coming out with her oddish right here. So, let's go, Hurricane, and let's fly, fly away, good old Hurricane. And that's uh, the sleep attack does not work. And well, there we go, oddish defeated. And well, let's see, oddish is coming out again. So I'm just gonna continue on right here with Hurricane. Go with the fly attack. And you try to stun spore me. That will not work. There we go. Fly attack for the win. Buh bye bye. Okay. And then, well, Tangle is coming out. Let's go straight to Master right here. Okay. Master. Let's do this. Fire punch attack. Oh, yes. Look at that. And, well, we're going to get poisoned. No worries. Master Flamethrower for the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Loving this. Kicking butt, taking names, growing to level 20. And well, he's gonna make she's gonna be coming out with a bell sprout. So let's go with Kathy right here. Now it is a risk because it is a water type Pokemon, but it kinda isn't because look at this. We got ourselves an ice beam for the win. Oh yeah, say goodbye to Bell Sprout. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So our team's a little buffed up. Let's go. Let's go ahead and use a. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we do have plenty of our antidote. I actually thought we didn't. So there we go. That takes that away. And let's battle this girl right here. I hate boys. Well then. I don't know, like, if you're if you're just a kid and saying you hate boys, then okay, it's natural, it's whatever. But if you really hate boys, then, well, you know, you could always play for the other team. I mean, no judgment here. I mean, you can pick whatever team you want, right? And crap baskets! Here we go with a poison powder. Let's go. And, yes, we are getting hurt with this poison right here. And good gravy. Bellsprout's just like, growing. And so here we go. Fly attack. Does its trick. Say goodbye to Bell Sprout. And well, let's see. Coming out with another Bell Sprout. Let's go switch out our Pokemon right here and go straight to Kathy. Oh yes. Okay. Alrighty. Kathy, do your thing. Ice Beam for the win. Look at that. Bell Sprout had no chance. Seriously, had no chance. And uh, well, just like that. That's how the cookie crumbles right there. And yet again, we have to use another antidote because, yeah, we, uh, yeah, we're in a grass type gym here. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and not do that. Let's go ahead and just use Shroomy right here. Okay. Alright. So, how you guys doing there? Pretty good. Oh, wow. This is kind of like the Cerulean City Gym then. Never mind. So, let's see. Um, Master. Master of your own universe. Let's go ahead and take on this Pokemon trainer. And that is not the gym leader. Don't underestimate the power of grass. I I kind of want to, but then again, we're kind of just beating you. Okay, so here we go. Taking on a cool trainer. And she is coming out with a bell sprout. So let's go ahead and flamethrower this Pokemon right here. Look at that. Flamethrower for the win. Say goodbye to Bell Sprout. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. And, well, coming out with an Oddish. Let's go straight to Kathy. I think I picked out the right team right now just to take on this uh, gym. Kathy, of course. Ice Beam. 
Take care of this. Oh, yes. Look at that. Critical hit. Say goodbye. Alrighty. And, well, there we go. Kathy grows to level 18. And, well, let's see. Get another Tangela. So, let's continue on right here. Use an Ice Beam. And that Vine Whip. Oh, yeah. That will hit us pretty hard. So, here we go. Ice Beam. Ice Beam. It does it. Oh, crud. And, you know what? Body Slam. Screw it. Let's body slam this Pokemon right here. So, there goes a super effective move, but body slam. Oh, wow. Forgot that this Pokemon is super beefy. Sometimes people underestimate this whole Tangela thing. So, here we go. Ice Beam Attack. Does it for the win. And Kathy grows to level 19, which is great. So, now we are victorious. So, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon, okay? Master, of course, needs a. A, a small potion, here we go, and Kathy will probably need like, wow, we need more potions. Yeah. Okay, so there we go, Kathy again. Yeah, using the majority of our potions right here. Thanks a lot, Kathy, you selfish, you know what. So here we go, and go straight to Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, again. We might use you in your back pocket, so let's go right ahead and take on this trainer. It's a beautiful day. Look at the flowers blooming everywhere. Ah. Hello, my name is Lois. I train grass Pokemon. And, well, here I am speaking. Well, I'm about, I'm after your sprout badge. Well, if you want it, you obviously have to fight me for it. Of course. Now, let's fight. Yeah, I kind of don't, I kind of don't like my trainer speaking. So here it is, taking on Lois, the trainer of the Malaga or whatever, you know, the Malaga, whatever, town gym, and well, she's coming out with a level 24 Weeping Bell. That is a strong Pokemon right there, and well, just like that, Master destroys this Pokemon, growing to level 21, and well, she's going to come out with a Gloom, yeah. These Pokemon are nice and beefed up, but guess what? Flamethrower does it again. And, well, Stun Spore. Ooh, making us paralyzed. Let's go for an Absorb on us. Luckily, this guy does not have a, whatchamacallit, um, Rap Attack, because that would have been bad right there. And, well, Gloom. Defeated. Oh, yes. And Master's growing to level 22 right here. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon now. Let's go straight to Hurricane since, well, it is a grass type Pokemon. Hurricane, it does have a little bit more speed, so let's go. Oh, wow, it's not. Oh, wow. Okay, so the evasion, it went down, but guess what? We fly, and there comes a cut attack, but guess what? Fly attack, kicking some butt, taking some names, and holy crud, there's a cut attack. Here comes another fly. Yeah, this Ivysaur is a little bit fast, but guess what? We win. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Level 23 Hurricane. And just like that, we defeat Lois for our next badge, the Sprout Badge. The Sprout Badge will make Pokemon able to use strength in and out of battle. Also, take this. We get ourselves a TM21. It contains Giga Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. Good luck in collecting all the Region League badges. Alright, we gotta take a look at this badge. As you can see, it looks like the head of a, of a Bellsprout. So, I, I guess we skipped the head. That was supposed to be the fourth badge right there. Don't know why, so... I think we've, you know, I think we, we, we've done it, I guess. I don't even know. Shoot. <laughs> so there it is, guys. Another badge. Another badge in our pocket. And, well, trying to figure out where the next place is going to be. So we win. And now it is time for us to take a little bit of a break right here. Because in the next episode, we're going to be continuing on our adventure right here, Pokemon Brown. Who would ever thought that we'd get this far this quickly? I sure didn't. Especially since it is the Summer of Hacks. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.